recording now. Amy and Eddie were gracious enough to bring us out here today on the opening Saturday of Red Snapper season. Fishing pretty deep. We got electric reels down. I've never done this before. I'm really excited for it. You guys excited? Yes, sir. Very much. We got Mike from MB3 Base. Of course. He's every video. Crushes it. Wife. There's Amy. Amy. Ryan behind the camera. I'm not hungover today, so hey. we're good. <laughs> and the guy behind the camera. And we'll be, sure, we'll be sure to let Amy fight a shark for 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're gonna do some slow pitching, some fast pitching, some bait pitching, some bitching, and, and, and deep dropping. Should yeah. be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. It's so so new for me. We got a little bit of everything going on. Catch the slow pitch, pitch, vertical oh, jigs. Yeah. Check out this boat. This is amazing. We are on a 34 Freeman today. Beautiful boat. We'll get some shots of that with the drone a little bit later. Eddie here runs the inshore charters. Called Sunday's Inshore Charters. Sunday's Indoor Charters. Check them out. We'll leave a link. Uh, Not indoor. Who fishes indoor? I, did I say indoor? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Inside the boat. For real. For real. His charter's out of Bass Pro Shops. He goes to Bass Pro and you catch the fish in the tanks. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Make sure you check him out. We'll leave a link for all of his stuff in the description. Yes, um, for sure. Yeah, let's get it. Let's see what happens. Get some fish.
missed him. Try again. Jordan's gonna be a pro at these electric reels before you know it. baits on there. Two baits. Two baits? Oh, oh, there's a bite. Come on. Let him eat it. Got a circle hook. Mike, what are you doing? Letting your, just letting your jig down? I'm waiting for Jordan to score here. <laughs> That's a snapper. It's so weird. I feel like he's just gonna come off. Be Lina. Oh yeah. I got you that time. That looks like a nice one. That's a pretty decent one. Should I put this dude back down for bait? What? So should I put him back down for bait? Nice. Damn, I'm good at this. All right, guys, so what we're doing right here is we are in about 400 feet of water, and we're dropping uh, Boston mackerel down for bait. And that's what's working right now for the red snapper. They're not one of the jigs. We were slow pitching, but they just weren't having it uh, first thing in the morning here. So. Ryan doesn't like that I have one more fish than him. <laughs> one more bigger fish than him. Amy got two really nice gags on this trip, and this was the second one. The first one was about 34, 35 inches. This one's about 30 inches or so. Here's a nice shot of them. Feel the shoulder burn. That wasn't too bad. I like her, I like her. 
just don't want the jig right now. <laughs> it just dropped out back there. Woo! Well done. High five. Oh! Good girl. So at this point we had a nice school of mahi. There was probably about a hundred mahi show up to the boat. And we got a nice bull in the boat first thing. And then we just got surrounded by little peanut mahi. So we got a couple to eat. Um, they were being kind of skittish so they were most likely hit again. There was like one other boat in the area so we were assuming they might have stopped by that boat first. Alright guys, so we're on a school of mahi right now trying to try to get them fired up get a bunch yeah. in the box let's get them let's go all right they're not even uh they don't even care about the fish in the water ah, get him ah, get him <laughs> get him ah, attack <laughs> This is my attack mahi! Oh my god! Blood everywhere! Yeah. No, 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 no! So usually when yeah, we hook a mahi, we'll keep it in the water. And we did that with the first one, and it kind of brought some more around. But after that, I mean, I left this one in for a little bit, and nothing even swarmed it. So we just decided to pull them out quick, get them in the box. Obviously, they're bloody fish. Uh, made a little bit of a mess. Oh man, that's a good fish. Oh, still recording. Perfect. I got the whole thing. Oh, it's not. not keep, keep, keep on it. Keep on it. Keep on it. Stop messing with the drag or no? No. Don't fuck with the drag. Don't touch the drag. Sure, that's it. You're timed out. I, I, I need to catch a fish on this thing. Every time it jerks up like that, I can't. No, I mean, it's going to feel a little bit of drag. It's a, that means it's a good fish. The suspension. Good fish, what do you think? Uh, when it's fighting, I'm taking that snapper. That's big, big R, big R. Come on, let's go. No color yet. How are you doing, Jordan? Still 180. Quite a fight. <laughs> no, that's just a grab. 50 meters. Big red snapper. Big AR, let's go. 40 inter. 30 pounds. I got a kid for me. 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 My PB is 38. Jordan can't beat that. Unfortunately, oh, this no. fish pulled no. the hook. Did it come off? And Eddie said sometimes they float up to the surface. Yep. And he floated up about 100 yards from the boat, and it was a monster red snapper. Right there, and yeah. he ended up diving right back down. It was God just gone. Heartbreaker. I don't know. I can't see it. It's so uh, small. It's a towel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a eel. Oh, oh my shit, God. One more eel. God, God damn it. Nice. Hold on. Let's get, get the camera on. That oh, fucker damn. will literally, oh. it will literally wrap up oh, the line. That's a cool fish tank. It wraps up. That's a cool fish tank, fish. <laughs> it will wrap up your arm. Yeah. Wait. You Whoa. remember fishing up north with the eels? That's you not. Fish up north bass? Yeah, he starts oh, wow. climbing the line. That's not cool. I've never seen one of those. They'll bite the hell out of you. Gasoline! Bigger and bigger. Yeah. See how they wrap up anyway? Yeah, yeah. And they will bite the hell out of you. Yeah. It's coming up, he's taking drag. Uh, no, no, it's coming up. <laughs> 
Here's the fish. We got Jordan. Oh, nice one. Good one. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Ah, little, little guy. You want this guy or? Ceviche? Uh, Can we make the ceviche? Have some ceviche? <laughs> I I had at least two on there, but the other one came up. This shark has got to be full, right? It hurts, but I'm doing it. Fucking both of them hooked up in one shot. What do you got, Amy? How's that? Long. Number. Yeah. Oh, it's up big. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, something's going to be. Oh. Hold on. Let me help him. There we go! Yeah, baby! Alright! Oh, yeah! Oh, no! That's what we're looking for! Did he die down? Yeah, he come off! What was it? Oh, my God! That's what we're looking for. Nice ARS. Nice ARS. Going in the box. Let's get some more. Alright guys, so we've hit a few spots today. We've been bouncing around. Um, the fish have been there. They're just not cooperating as we would like them to. So we are moving a little bit shallower. Um, I think we only need like four more red snapper for our limit. So we're just going to Move a little shallower, it should be easier. Just limit out real quick, see what else we can come into. And... Back at the dock. Let's see how we did today. Not a bad box. Red snappers, some gags. There's a bunch of, of uh, scamp, scamps in there. Some mahi mixed in. Tilefish, real good box. It's a nice mixed box. Good day. Slow bite all day, but I mean, we put together a pretty looking box there. I will say that. So we ended our day with our limited red snapper. We got a couple mahi. We got a bunch of scamps. Might crush the scamps towards the end of the day. Of course, we didn't get any of that on video because we suck. Um, we got a bunch of tile fish, uh, some beeliners, 
so two nice gags. It was really a, a lot more fish than uh, than we thought we had at the end of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys want to see next. Peace. Probably a hundred pounds of fucking Kobe at the house. Sounds like a good problem. Sorry, I helped you with that.